Hey, we're back. Abby, do you want to do some math problems? Sure. That would be great, right? So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be using the work of as Vicki and Cressy, Cressy from 2008. There's a study, and I'll post a link to it. But what they did is a research study kind of looking at a comparison between cover copy compare and the taped math problems intervention. Most people are familiar with cover copy compare and tape math problems people might be familiar with, but it's a nice little intervention you could do individual to whole group. Also with summer coming up, we thought it would be a good way to automatically or um, kind of efficiently. You can use this in the summer to get your kids back to math fast. Yes, you can, and make sure they stay engaged. So what we're going to do is I pulled from interventioncentral.org. I went to the math, sheet work, math worksheet generator. Pulled 20 problems, basic facts that Abby is kind of working on in class. I then recorded them into my handy dandy voice memo recorder here. And I will play the problems for her, 20 problems. She'll write her answers to it. And then we'll see how it goes from there. The nice part about this is with the recording and working individually with the student, you can, you'll see me pause because I recorded these probably too fast for her. So what I will do is monitor how she's doing with progress and then press play and pause. Are you ready? Yes. Fired up. All right, let's go. One, seven plus eight. Two, three minus two. Three, six times, times one. Four, or two plus nine. Five, nine minus two. Six, one times three. Seven. And now what we can do is we can go back and Abby can flip over her page. I then recorded the answers on here too, so I would play the answers for you. Are you ready? Yes. See how you did. Answers. One. Eight. Number two. One. Number three. Six. Number four. Eleven. Number five. Seven. Number six. Three. Seven. Is seven. Number eight is one. Number nine is two. Number 10 is 2, number 11 is 4, number 12 is 2. Too busy writing, sorry. Number 13 is 16, 14 is 5, number 15 is 9, number 16 is 6, number 17 is 1, number 18 is 3, number 19 is 9, number 20 is 2. So from there, Abby had 18 out of 20. We would monitor and use this kind of to, to monitor her progress over time. We could have her do a couple of practice of the problems that she got wrong, have her do a few of those over and over, maybe with incremental rehearsal type intervention, just to make sure she's got those mastered. And from there, we would continue this, and you can record these. All in all, this took me about 10 minutes to set up, and I think this would be a beneficial thing to keep kids going over summer, or even to increase their math fact fluency. So thanks again. Bye.